All right, I wanted to share a quick little or little ladle haul with you guys today. I missed a video yesterday on the 9th, so I'm going to post this as my 9th day of Vlogmas video. But I went this morning and I just needed to pick up a few things. And so I thought I would go ahead and share with you guys. Now, if you didn't know, Lytle or Little Ladle. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I've heard it so many different ways. They are a lot like Aldi, but a little different. They're not exactly like an Aldi, but they're they're close. <laughs> uh, you do have to bag your own food just the same as Aldi. You don't have to put a quarter in the cart. You just grab a cart and go. But they are similar. But let's go ahead and uh, jump into this haul so you guys can get on with your day. So I just picked up one cucumber. Yes, I have dishes. I always have dishes. Don't worry. We live here. So I did pick up a cucumber. And I have that. I wanted to pick up some Dave's Killer Bread for myself, but I know the family will eat this too. This doesn't give me tummy troubles, so I like to get it. I don't like to have bleached flour. It seems to hurt more when I'm, I'm trying to digest it than with flour that is unbleached. So, got that. And then I also picked up this fiber white for the family to try because we have never tried this one so it is under their brand so they are going to try that out and we will see if they like it so pick that up then craving oranges even though this will give me heartburn i still have my medication so i can't take my medication and eat some of these yummy goodnesses so with everything going on you can always use your little vitamin c and so i just picked up some of these little mandarin oranges and they were like 2.99 a pack these two follow your heart brands were 4.99 and so I picked up the mild cheddar slices. If you're new here, I try to eat closer to a plant-based diet, but I call myself vegetation centered because I try to lean more towards things that grow and eat those items. And I also picked up these. I have been craving pimento cheese. And since we made it in culinary school, I do know how to make my own, it's super simple. So I just need to get a red bell pepper for this and I'm going to make a vegan version. So I picked up the dairy-free cheddar shreds and these are really good. I also like the ones at Whole Foods, their brand 365 is really good as well. But that is what I picked this up for this time is for making that spread. So picked up that I also picked up some uh, Tropicana um, this is the low pulp calcium with the vitamin D Mr. Kellen was craving some orange juice so that's mostly for him for myself I did pick up this synergy kombucha this is the ginger berry so I thought I would give this a try I can't remember if I've tried this one but most of the synergies I have enjoyed I also picked up some kind breakfast proteins so these were $4.99 $3.99 I think they were $3.99 it only comes with five in there and I just wanted to try these I like the frozen kind bars and I like their other little nut bars. Sorry if y'all hear Raz growling at the cat. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and give these a try as well. So I picked these up for the house. And I was for sure Tati would love these. And Kellen probably will too. But she's my sweets eater. So I did pick up these hot cocoa cookie dough with marshmallows in there. So we will see if she likes these. So those are mostly for her. 
These are, of course, for me. These are the Beyond Breakfast sauces. They're the spicy ones. The spicy ones aren't that spicy. These were $2.99, so I picked up two boxes because anywhere else they are $4.99 a box. And you know what? I'm thinking I should have picked up four boxes because I love these. Our air fryer just went out, so we're waiting on a new one that I just ordered. But those I cannot wait to dig into. This I've seen on other channels. This I've seen at Whole Foods. Everybody is picking this up from Whole Foods, but they had it here. So I went to hand and picked it up because it was on sale for $4.99. And I've seen everyone else pick it up for like more than that, like $7.99, $8.99. So for the price. I went ahead and picked it up. Now, I do only have three days to use this, so I might freeze it. We will see. So, we, I've never tried this one. We will give this a try in a recipe sometime this weekend before it goes out of date there. So, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about this one. 100% vegan, meatless grounds. If you guys have tried this, let me know down below. I know I don't have a lot of vegan eaters down there, but let me know. So all of their eggs were 46 cents each. So I picked up one of the 46 cents eggs and they look good there. But I also wanted to try these. If you didn't know, I love the Vital Farm eggs and this is the Farmer's Hen. I've never had this brand. It is non-GMO vegetarian veget ooh, can I speak today? Vegetarian feed, no antibiotics, nor hormones, outdoor access, two eggs a day are okay. Okay. <laughs> Free range, born in the USA. So I thought I would try these. I am not too sure about them. But they look pretty good, and I think I crushed one. <laughs> I was trying to open the door with the eggs in my hand, so I think I did that. Because <laughs> they were none cracked, but that one is cracked. So, I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to give it to Miss Raz, because she enjoys eggs also. So, I'm going to try these out. I really enjoy the Vital Farm eggs. They are so good. The yolk is so orange and vibrant. Oh my gosh. So, as you can see, I do eat eggs in my diet. I just don't eat cheese or any type of dairy. So, I don't know. I'm in between like a plant-based vegetarian diet because I do include eggs in my diet. But that is it for me, you guys. That is all I have for you today. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.